Friday, we're in Aylesbury. Yeah. What are we doing? We're going to the pub. Are we? No, no, oh, no, oh, sorry. Oh. No, we're going to teach all you people out there how to feeble grind. How people ask us how to grind sometimes. Hi. So we're going to show you. And by show you and teach you, we're very loosely saying that we can do it to some ability. So don't go like, that's not how you learn, that's not how you do it. We don't really care. We put, do we put pegs on our bikes for the first time about a year ago, all of us, and we all learned at the same time. So hopefully we can help you learn like we did. Help you help yourself. Grinds or feeble grinds or any sort of grind, the number one thing, first of all, you need to be able to do is bunny hop. It is indeed. I'll give you a quick demonstration of how to bunny hop. Come to Miles and he's going to do a bunny hop. There you go. So all that means is you bring the front up and then the back up in a joint maneuver that gets you off the ground and frees you up to be able to put your pegs on obstacles. That's indeed true. And uh, people sometimes get confused. Now, generally, if you ride, ride like me, left foot forward, you will have your pegs on the left-hand side. As when you grind, generally, you have your lead foot forward. Now, uh, the first grind, the easiest one to learn, we found anyway, is the feeble grind. Now, with a feeble grind, it involves having your front wheel up on the ledge and your rear peg <laughs> on the coach. So really, you're only grinding with one peg at the moment, and it just gives you a bit more confidence because your steering wheel is still steering, not you have a steering wheel on a bike, no, but the wheel, wheel that steers yeah. is still active, so you can move it around a bit and you you just feel a bit more confident. And it's nicer on the wrists. It is as well. You don't well. want to be like me and go like this. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to the things that can go wrong in a minute, but generally it's pretty safe. It is indeed. The feeble grind is the safe one. Everything but safe. So here we go. It's a nice looking ledge, nice and straight, just been waxed. Feeble grind. There you go, and off. And then the other way, because Dan's got his pegs on the other side. Feeble grind, and off. So it's a hop up, uh, and then you're, you're away. But yeah, the main... The main thing really, and the, the bit that can be a bit tricky, is like the getting on. So you want to ride relatively close to it, but not too close. A, a bit of an angle. Because you don't it. want to catch it on the way up, especially if it's not a ledge that's filled in, and it has like bars, we've all done that. But yeah, so not, not too close to it, a little bit of an angle, and then just hop. So and, you hop straight. And naturally, when you first start to do it, you'll hop and push the bike towards it, but you don't really want to do that. You want to stay centered on the bike. Yeah, you want to, so you want to come in, not dead level with it, so you have to bunny hop up and sideways. You want to come in at an angle, like that hop, and as you land, the back wheel catches on the ledge and it'll hold you straight. That's it. Just keep your front wheel relatively close to the edge. Not too close, but close enough that you can, because obviously the more you come across this way, it's going to slow it down and eventually your jackknife or yeah. your peg will fall off. But you don't want to be, don't want to be right on the edge, just, in, just inside it's the edge. Slips off and you end up in a double peg and that does hurt your wrists. Yeah, we'll cover that next time, maybe double pegging. Yeah. Dan, Dan didn't get the... <laughs> Dan, Dan didn't get the memo, she doesn't do Once you get a feeble, you can start linking it up with stuff. Like manual to feeble. Lovely. Or you could do feeble to manual. Look at that, he's away. Oh, we're gonna get oh, a little bit of a fakey. Lovely, that's how you finish. Well, what you can do is hop up onto the ledge out of a feeble, which took all of us, to be honest, ages to learn how to do. Now, watch out, man. Now, what you wanna do is when you're sliding along, you wanna put your pressure on the front wheel and hop up, so you have to be led forward, like nolly up into it, which is, uh, it takes a bit of getting used to, but that links into a lot more things. Here we go, rolling in, feeble, pop up, and there you go. Now what else could you do with that, Miles? You can go a little bit faster and spin a 180 off of the end. A feeble to hop up, let's see what else he's got. Beautiful, look at that, feeble hop up, 180 reeves that out, that's nice. That's just one of the other things you can do. Now what other ledges can we do? Up ledges. Up ledges. 
Down ledges. Down ledges. Variations of feebles. Feeble. Knack out. That's just proper. And if you're really proficient at manuals, you can manual in to feeble to manual out. See, this is a like a 45 degree up ledge or down ledge, depends which way you come. Lens pegs on his right side because he's a weird left hand driver. So he can hop to feeble up ledge. Lovely. Then what touch. goes up must come down. So if you do an up ledge, you can also go down ledge. And finally, present to you the Euro gap up ledge. Now, every time there's a little gap involved, ledges and feebling becomes a little bit scarier, but you know, it's not too bad. It's mind over matter and all that. But the run up to this one's a little bit tricky. So let's see if Miles can get this for us. There's a final demonstration of things you can do with feebling. Yeah. Lovely, <laughs> and he nearly killed his son, the scooterist. You can come over to slightly bigger ones like this. I'm not saying it's big, before everyone goes, that's not a big ledge. But slightly bigger ones, considering we're very old novices. And then you can try and slide down one of these. Just like that. Absolutely perfect demonstrated by our resident 50 year old, Mr. Oh, he's 51 now. Well, it doesn't really matter anymore, does it? You stop counting. 50, 51, 75, 154. Doesn't matter, he's just old. But yeah, that just goes to show you, you can do it whatever your ability, whatever your age. It's a good fun trick. You can link stuff up. It can be standalone stuff. Up ledges, down ledges, in ledges, out ledges. In your nightgown. Lovely. That was a children's nursery rhyme, I believe. In your nightgown? <laughs> Oh, in case you're wondering what that noise was, that was Len doing an up ledge into my bum. <laughs> Jesus.